Welcome back YouTubers. Today I'm tying up another fly. This one here is called the baby doll. And I'll show you how it's done. Start off by making a thread base out of black thread. This fly right here is uh, it's a pretty easy to fly to tie up and you don't need much material for it. You just need uh, white yarn and uh, silver wire and your black thread of course. Uh, and this one, I don't really do this too often but because that yarn likes to slide around a little bit. I like to put just a little bit of uh, cement just on the top of the hook there on the thread base. It kind of helps it from moving around. So you get a piece of white yarn. So about 16 to 18 inches long. And you take both the cut ends like this and you just put them right together you let those cut ends go out a couple inches over the eye of the hook and you start to tie it in so you want to be about about that far from your eye, you want to give yourself a little bit of space on this one and you just start binding it down this here is a uh, size 8 hook. It's like a longer shank hook. Um, grab a piece of wire, silver wire, about 5 or 6 inches long. And just tie it in right here. And you bind it down on your way up. So at this end right here hanging off the back you have like that big loop. So you just uh, take one of the strands where it goes to the hook and you just cut it. So that way you just have one long, long strand left. And you just start to wrap it towards the front. right up to your tie in point then you start to go back about halfway maybe slightly more then start working your ba way back up to the front again so the front of it's a little fatter than the back of it You tie that in with the other two. And then, uh, so you have three strands hanging off the front right there. You take them just like this, pull them right back. And then use your uh, wire on the back to tie them in. You do three wraps here. And then you just start tying up toward the front like a rib. Be about three or four wraps. And tie that wire in there with the head. And 
Build yourself up a nice little head there. Now we're going to tie it off. These little tails here in the back. Give it about a half inch tail or so. Just cut all three of them right through. And then I got this little high tech tool right here. It's a little uh, brush because you want to brush the tail. It's a handle from a plastic spoon with the spoon part cut off. And that's a piece of Velcro. That's the hook side. And uh, Put, just put your finger behind it and you just kind of press it against your finger and brush it out. Works good for these yarn tails. Kind of fluffs them out a little. There it is. The baby doll. It's like a little uh, little minnow. And just finish it off with a little hood cement. And you're good to go. Also when I buy yarn, if you buy yarn at a fly tying shop, they usually put it in a small little package. I don't know how much is in there. 10 feet, maybe 20 feet. And it's usually around a couple bucks. I buy my yarn right at Walmart. I buy these, like the giant spool that you use for like sewing. And there's 364 yards. I can't really get that in. 364 yards in that. And it seems to be the same, about the same as you would get at a fly tying shop. And you, just for a little bit more money, you get more than you probably ever need. So, so there it is. That's the baby doll fly. And of course, that's kind of a, the traditional way to tie it. White yarn, silver wire, black thread. But of course, you can customize it and do any variation that you want. And this one right here is one I did. Pretty much did it the same way. The only thing I did different is I tied it with red thread. So it gave a little bit of a head up front. And then I tied in a little bit of red crystal flash in on the tail. And I think I, I tied that in right before I tied in the wire. So it kind of gives it like a like a bleeding pattern, sort of. So that's just another way to do it. And there it is, the baby doll. With its bleeding dying cousin sitting behind it. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, if this fly works for you, let me know in the comments below. I never get tired of talking about fishing or hearing about it, so let me know if this works for you or any of the other flies I've showed you how to tie. Until next time.